Thank you for watching this uh, video uh, from my channel, uh, The Professor. I am making this video from Paris, and uh, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's important because once I drop the video, you certainly will be one of the first people to get a copy of the video. Certainly today, I am going to talk about how Eddie Alex and Buenwash, some of his investors, in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, if you are a believer, don't take offense to that. It's just my observation. Now, you would remember that I have been reporting on the Eddie Alexson case since Eddie Alexson uh, got arrested. In fact, I have been watching uh, Emini FX even uh, six months before Eddie Alexson got arrested, and I predicted that he would be arrested because some of my friends called me and asked me about this investment opportunity, and I told them it was a Ponzi scheme. Now, uh, first, when I started reporting on this case, uh, some people were upset about it. They think that I was doing something wrong, and I made all the predictions, and all of the predictions that I've made actually became true. Eddie Alexson pleaded guilty to fraud, and he's scheduled to be sentenced on July 12, 2023. Now, let's talk about, uh, for the last couple of weeks, uh, I've been traveling. I'm uh, uh, right now in Paris uh, giving a speech at uh, an event here. And uh, I have received a lot of calls from people, investors who wanted to talk to me because they realized that what I have been saying for the last nine months, uh, it's true. But during the last few weeks, since obviously two weeks since uh, Eddie Alexson pleaded guilty, I have given several interviews on, on televisions and I've, already, I've also talked to a lot of people. And one thing that I realized is that there are some people, not all of them, because remember, Eddie Alexson collected $250 million from 62,000 people. So that's a lot of people. And I have spoken probably to about 100 people. But a lot of these people, especially those who are uh, churchgoers, people that perhaps are Adventists, as Mr. Alexson is, actually still do not believe that Mr. Alexson is guilty. So I have made two videos. One, I have made in Creole because I wanted everybody to understand what I was saying. And I'm making this one in English for those who do not speak Creole very well or who can't get the gist of it. So here's the thing, guys, okay? And I know some of you believe in a dialectic. If you want to continue believing that he's a saint, he's God, God bless you. I'm not going to dissuade you. However, I am a fact guy, so I deal in fact, not opinion, not, you know, things, facts, okay? The facts are the following, okay? Eddie Alexand started a mini FX, uh, and he did three things, and all three things were illegal, were against the law. Now, whether Eddie Alexand knew or whether he didn't know, that is totally inconsequential, okay? What he did was illegal, period. And Eddie Alexson pleaded guilty because he's guilty of fraud, period, end of the story. Now, we can talk about whether or not we don't want him to go to prison for 10, 15 years, five years, two years, one years, or no prison at all. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that because I think he took responsibility for what he did. He pleaded guilty. The judge took his guilty plea. He said what he did wrong. Now, the problem that I'm having, however, is that some of the investors have been brainwashed by the pastors or by Eddie Alexson himself. Here's what I'm talking about. If a person walks to a courthouse and said, Your Honor, I did this, I'm guilty. Who the hell are you to say he's not guilty? He's the one who did it. He said he's guilty. All you have to do is believe what he said. Now, I'm not saying everybody believes Eddie Alexson is innocent, but there are enough people who believe he's innocent 
to actually force me to do this video because I've spoken to a lot of people, most of them women uh, who goes to church. And I, there's one particular woman who said, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, things are going to be different now. The addicts didn't do anything. They came after him because he was helping the community. He was doing this. He was doing that. Now, for those of you who actually believe Eddie Alexson was helping the community, here's what I'm going to ask you. And listen carefully. Take your chair, sit down, and listen. Don't, don't get upset. Don't argue with the video. Just listen, okay? Now, Eddie Alexson promised you 5% every week of the year. There are 52 weeks of the year. So if you multiply 5% uh, every week, by 52 weeks, how much is that, okay? Almost over 240% of interest, of profit in your money, okay? Now, here's what Eddie Alexson did that was illegal. First, first, he claimed that your investment, your money is being invested in cryptocurrency aided, aided by a program called a robot program, a robot program that he, he a computer program that he devised, that he's saying that this is like a, a, a trade secret, okay? Now, find out when he pleaded guilty that there was no trade secret at all. In fact, there was nothing. All he did is created a system in the computer that shows you your money is earning interest when actually your money isn't earning jack shit, okay? That's a fraud. You can't tell people that, oh, yeah, give me the money, don't worry. Look at the computer, you see how much you're getting. I'll give you an example. There was a particular uh, investor that I spoke to uh, from the southern part of the United States. I don't want to say where. The, um, the investor invested uh, $100,000. Okay, listen carefully. He told me he invested $100,000 at 1130 at night, which he transferred his crypto to Eddie Alexson to MNEFX. fx at 1201, he checked his account and his account shows $200,000. How the hell did his money double 100% in less than 29 minutes? Okay, now, I don't know who believed that. I mean, whoever believed that, God bless you. I mean, you are smarter than me. I, I don't know, but that's what happened. What AD did very simple he set up a computer system that at some time will show you that your money actually earned interest but the fact of the matter is your money wasn't earning interest what he did very simple you are an investor okay let's say mary joe is an investor mary joe comes to mini fx mary joe invested a hundred thousand of course mary joe is getting five percent every week mary joe is happy She's talking to her family. She's talking to a friend. She's calling me. She's telling me about it. And I'm telling her, you're crazy. But her family and friends show the money that she's getting. That's, that's the cash, right? She's getting that money every week. She's happy. And she's buying a car. She's traveling. You know, she's going to Paris like I am right now. The behind me is the Eiffel Tower. She's happy about it. Of course, her family, they don't know any better. They don't know this. And this is really what the fraud is because Eddie Alexson knows he's not a stupid guy. He understands psychology. He understands the socializations of people. He understands how to convince people. You know, sometimes you don't have to say anything to convince people. All you got to do is have somebody say something in your behalf. And that's the reason we have so many people are uh, saying that he's innocent because they actually been brainwashed. So basically he brainwashed a lot of people. Now, these people, they go in and they tell their friends, oh, yeah, yeah, this is good, blah, blah, blah. The other thing that the Alexson did that was really smart, he used pastors, people that are in position of trust, people that you trust, people that you believe in, your pastors, your deacon, people in your church, people who actually help you pray. When you have a problem, you go to them and you, you talk to your pastors, you tell them what's going on in your life. In fact, there was one investor who, I mean, actually, there were more than one investor who said to me, that they pastors told them to invest and that if they pastors told them something, it must be from God. In other words, as the pastors speak, it's like God speaking, that that was the investment. God told them to, to, to invest. These people, 
actually are the people that have been brainwashed by A.D. Alexon and all the people, the pastors that were working with them. Now, I find it hard to believe that A.D. Alexon did not know that what he was doing was illegal. I find it hard to believe that he didn't know that there was no system that was helping with the investment. First of all, there was no investment to begin with because you all know by now, the only investment he made was $6 million, which money he lost very badly. So he's not a good investor. He doesn't know what the hell he was doing anyway. But if you are one of the church believing God, believing people, and, and I'm not saying anything wrong with that. Like I said, I grew up in a Christian family. Uh, you know, all my sisters go to church. I just never went to church because I don't believe in the old God thing because I think it's a, it's a racket. That's just me. But I'm not saying it, you are bad for believing in it. That's not what this is about because that would be wrong. What I'm saying is that when you look at the fact, when you look at what's happening before you, I don't want your head to be in heaven talking about God and all the things that's happening because this is happening on earth. Let's stay on earth. The fact of the matter is, Eddie Alexson collected $250 million from the Haitian community and most of you who give your money. And I spoke to a lot of you. Some of you uh, mortgage your house to, uh, to give the money. Some of you work as a CNA, as an LPN, working really, really hard, uh, you know, cleaning people, helping people. And uh, you take all that money, you give it to this man, believing that you were going to be rich and you lost that money. And the only reason you lost that money is because he lied to you. He could have told you the truth. He could have said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, maybe you make some interest. Maybe you lose all the money. He never said once that you could lose the money. Now, I know some of you guys say, oh, yeah, yeah, he said that, he said that, he said that. Yeah, you know what? I've never seen it in writing. And the reason he never said that is because he knew and all the people that were working with him knew that the money that he was paying you every single week after week was money from investors that came behind you. So if you're the first investors, you made a lot of money. I know a doctor who was one of the earlier investors who invested $200,000. He made close to a million dollars because every week he would take his 5%. So he, he was taking his father for a long time. By the time the FBI nabbed the Alexander, he had already called it five times his money because he was making money every week. Now, that was one of the early investors. So most of you who came late when A.D. Alexander got arrested, in fact, you never got to see any profit. I had one investor, one investor who told me that he invested over a million dollars. And the day before A.D. Alexson got arrested, he was going to withdraw some of his money because he was making $180,000 a week. At least the computer shows him that he was making that money. Little did he know that the money that he actually saw wasn't really real money. It was, even though there was no investment, there was nothing. He was just, you know, like paper money. It's just like he was showing on the computer. So the man thought that, the $1 million he invested actually turned into $2.2 million. So he didn't take any of that money. And of course, Eddie Alexson get arrested. The man is out a million and $200,000. So you want to believe that this man, you know, is not guilty? By all means, you can believe that. But he doesn't believe it. So if you're, stu if you're stupid enough to believe that, then, you know, God bless you. But I want to tell you, the next time somebody comes and asks you to invest in something you don't understand, you ought to ask questions, probably a hundred questions. Who is that person? What has he been doing? Has he ever managed money before? How much money is managed? Or your, what was the return? Where did he invest? What did he know? Where did he go to school? You need to ask questions, okay? And if somebody's asking you to invest in cryptocurrency, God, God, you need to find out what the hell cryptocurrency is. I don't know what the hell cryptocurrency is. I just know it's a whole bunch of digital thing that people claim that you got to make money. I never invested in it because you know what? Until I have a handle, I understand it, I'm not going to invest. Now, 
you guys, uh, most of you from the Haitian community, lost clearly a quarter billion dollars. Do you know how much of interest that you could have earned in that money globally if that money was invested in a wheel investment as opposed to some fuzzy thing, fuzzy math? A lot. But I can force you to learn. I can force you to believe what you don't want to believe. If you want to believe in, in uh, you know, in Christmas, you want to believe that in Papa Noel, like the Haitian says, please do believe it. If you want to believe in the will, by God, you can believe whatever the hell you want to believe. But the facts remain that a D. Alexson committed a crime. It was a fraud. It was a Ponzi scheme. He pleaded guilty. And I hope that, and I hope that A.D. learned from his mistake. And I do really, really hope that if he has to go to prison, that he doesn't go to prison for a long time, that the judge take into consideration his plea, take into consideration that he has accepted responsibility for what he did, he agrees that he did something wrong, and then he pleaded guilty. He said he's guilty. Now, if you don't believe that, you got a serious problem. You need to see a doctor. You got something in your brain because the man said he's guilty. And you ought to believe the guy. And if you respect Eddie, you think he's a good guy, you ought to believe what he said. You believe him when he said your money was invested in cryptocurrency. You believe him when he said he has a computer system that was a trade secret that was somehow invested your money. You believe all that, but you can't believe when he said he's guilty. You can't believe when he said that, oh yeah, I did something wrong, I'm guilty. I just don't understand it. I just do not comprehend people who are saying that. I mean, I hate to say that, but you simply cannot be that stupid. You just can't be. It's impossible to be that stupid and dumb. You, you just can't be. It, it's impossible to be a human with a brain and actually believe someone is innocent when they told you they're guilty. I just don't get it. So I can force you. All I can tell you is tell you the truth. And it's just the same thing with people who asked me a year and a half ago whether they should invest in, uh, in uh, with Eddie Alexson, Emini FX. And I told them no. I said, don't do it. Don't do it. But guess what? <laughs> They turned around and did exactly what I told them not to do. Of course, a lot of them now are ashamed because they got taken for a ride and they couldn't understand what was going on, even though I told them. So same thing for you. I've been telling you for nine months now that this was, um, this was, um, you know, this was bad and you didn't believe it. So I don't think I'm going to convince you now, but I just wanted to let you know that Oh my God, I, I can't believe, I, I can't believe we would, would have that many people who actually want to believe that. Now, this is very different from somebody who's saying, okay, there's no point on wishing bad on Eddie Alexson. There's no point on saying that he should go to prison for 10, 15 years. There's no point on, on, on pushing that. No, that's not what I'm pushing. That's not what this is about. This is not really about Eddie Alexson at all. In fact, the case of Eddie Alexson is over. He pled guilty, he's going to be sentenced. That case is over. What I'm talking about is the people that I have spoken to in the last few weeks since Eddie Alexson took a plea, who still telling me on the phone, I'm talking to them, they're still letting me, oh, Professor, I believe this man is innocent. So when somebody tells you that, all you gotta do is listen. You can't tell them they're crazy because they're really not crazy. They are not crazy and they're not stupid either. What happened to them is they have been brainwashed. And when you are brainwashed, it's very, very hard for you. Even when the truth is in front of you, you want to deny it. You, you want to believe what your brainwasher tell you to believe. And I think Eddie Alexson did a good job. And Eddie Alexson would go in the history of the Haitian diaspora as the greatest brainwasher ever. I just hope that 
the joys taken into consideration his plea. And I seriously, seriously hope that he doesn't have to spend a lot of time in prison. At least that's my wish for him. And I sincerely wish that because I don't think prison, you know, does anything for anyone. You know, I, to me, I think it's a waste of time. I think that he gave the money back and the judge should be happy. People should try to get their money back. And if there is anything, maybe they should give him a year and a day. That way he'll be home in eight months. I mean, I hope that's what happened. Because I don't think going sending him to prison is going to do anything except to send a message to other would-be Eddie Alexand not to repeat the same thing. I think people already see, at least some of them, have seen that this is wrong. They probably wouldn't do it. But who knows? Because some people are saying he's innocent. Well, maybe some people will do it. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you soon. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to talk about a whole range of things. I mean, there are so many interesting things going that I'm going to talk about. First, the murder of Jovenel Moise. They arrested four people in Florida. I'm going to talk about that, tracking the case down, finding what's going on so I can report to you. Also, the 26 Haitian Americans who were arrested for selling fake a nursing license. I'm going to talk about that. I'm tracking everything down so I can bring that news to you. Keep watching the channel and you would learn everything you need to learn about the U.S. legal system and the people who get caught in it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.